There is nothing like it anywhere, and I mean anywhere else in the world. All-Star Festivities at its finest. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan here with my partners, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Next up is the three-point contest where tonight one NBA sharpshooter will add his name to a trophy that contains a who's who of the best long-range bombers in league history. There's a lot of tremendous three-point talent in the NBA, and no better place to see that skill showcase than right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clark, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but the three-point contest is something I look forward to all season long. The nice thing about this format is that everyone starts each round with a clean slate. Yeah, and even if you're the last place qualifier from the previous round, you still have a chance to win it all. Yeah, it really is just about getting hot at the right time. You just want to advance out of that first round and then uh, get hot from there. You know, this is really a very unique experience for the participants. You're on your own out there. Nobody can help you. And every eye in the arena is focused on you. You're right, Clark. It's totally different from a regular game. You're the only person out there. You're firing shots left and right. Uh, it's different, and you have to adapt to that different experience and make it your own if you're going to win. Three racks down, two to go. Misses for the fourth straight time. 11 on the board. Could only get one shot to fall off the rack. That gives him 12. That's 13. Now 14. He gets his tally up to 16 points. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Well, the key was, Kevin, he took six out of a possible ten points from the money balls. And those are huge points. Uh, you've got to take advantage of them, and he did. So it'll be Captain Clutch right here. The last ball in each rack, the money ball, is such a key in the shootout. I mean, knocking those down makes up for a lot of other misses. And that's why I think you see guys maybe take a split second longer on each money ball. Clark, you'll see them race through the first four and then little hesitation, real focus on that last one. Four points. And a decent start here, guys. That's seven. Ooh, he is feeling it. Nine points. Money ball, no good. Up to 10 now. 11 on the board. One rack left. That gives him 12. Not just 13. He comes away with a total of 15 points. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. There were a few ups and downs, but overall it turned out to be a fairly decent round. Yeah, I'd give him kind of a B-plus for that one. You know, you hope for more, but uh, it probably lived up to a reasonable expectation for him. So it'll be Carmelo Anthony here. You know, the importance of getting into a rhythm early can't be understated. I mean, it's not a make-one-miss-one kind of deal. You need to get on a roll. Yeah, that's correct, Clark. I mean, there's going to be ebbs and flows during the contest, but I think the winner will always string together at least one run where he makes five or six in a row, preferably with a couple of money balls involved there as well. He's missed all three money balls so far. That's six points left on the table. Off the mark with five in a row now. He's got five. Now is six. Excellent pacing right now and rhythm to his shots. That's it. He's got ten. He gets to the ten-point mark for the round. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. Yeah, he was totally inconsistent out there. You know, we always talk about guys getting into a rhythm in this event, and he just never was able to do that. So it'll be Brad Beal here. Well, Brad Beal, renowned in high school for his outside shooting. He was solid during his freshman season at Florida. But you see the stroke. You know he's going to be an excellent three-point shooter in this league for years to come. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. Well, that's a great way to approach it because really the shootout is, is all about fun. It's for the players. It's for the fans. It's not anything to, to put a ton of pressure on yourself for. So whoever's most relaxed, I think, has the best chance. The young fella, Brad Beal, taking charge here. Five more points to stay in it. Six. 
Four more points to stay alive. He's up to seven. He could have taken more from that rack, only got two points. Two more points to stick around. Nine points is what he finishes with. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. You're exactly right, Kevin. He was all over the place, just could never get it going, never seemed to settle down. Well, that's the thing about this contest. Sometimes you want to stop, take a breath, and collect yourself, but you never have the time to do it. And so here's Parker now. He's got to have at least 10. I think that's definitely a score within his reach, guys. Five points more to stay in it. Five more points to stay in it. Gets the money ball. Two more to stay in it. One more to stay alive. Two racks to go. That shot ties him for third. He's in third. He can't get the money ball. Finishes with 11. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have been a lot better. I guess one way to look at it is that he was just in his discomfort zone in that round. You know, Clark, no need to even put it into words. We could all see how unsettled he was. That did not go well from the start. And we will see LeBron here. He's in a good spot getting to go last. It's no mystery how many points he needs to move on. Just 11 points, and he'll make it to the final round. I could probably get 11. I, I think I could get 11, too, and I don't even have any cartilage left in my knees. Not too high a bar to pass here. Five more points, and he's in. That's seven. Three more points to stay in contention. He's hit all three money balls. And now he's tied for third here. That moves him to third. Good for 13. And that puts him in a second place tie now. That equals the best score of this round, Kevin. 16 points is his score for the round. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. Well, we all know how important the money balls are in this event, and he hit four out of five of them. That's very good work. James has got one of the best scores in round one, a serious contender. With the strong group we have moving on to the finals, I'm expecting a very competitive last round. I'm with you on that. I mean, I'd be surprised if this doesn't go all the way down to the last rack. So it'll be Captain Clutch right here. By going first, he can put a lot of the pressure on the guys behind him. He puts a good score. Gets the money ball. He's got five. Bringing some very nice shooting together here. Cool, he knocks down his fifth straight. Solid start there. Nine points. Up to ten now. Eleven points. Now he's got it. He misses his fourth straight. Three of four on money balls. And now with 16. Now with 17. Take that. That's five straight. He's getting on a roll. He gets all the way up to 21 points. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. How about that finish, guys? I mean, his last six shots found the bottom of the net. A lot of players' legs go out from under them a little bit once they reach the finals. It may not seem like a physically taxing event, but that does have some effect for sure. Well, that's a long shot. You know, 23 feet, 9 inches at the three top spots. And then, of course, you're shooting 25 times in a minute. That's an awful lot of shots. He can only afford two more misses. Good rack right there. Four points total. Now is six. Seven points. Too much ground to make up here, Clark. He's done. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Out of here. Yeah, you do your best, but, uh, you know, this competition is so tough. If you're not on your game, you're not going to win. Finishes with 11. 
there was just something off about him in that round. Yeah, you know, in this format, once it goes wrong, sometimes the harder a player tries, the worse it gets, and you only have a few seconds to correct it, and it can get away from you quick. Yeah, and that's what makes it so difficult, Mark, because as you said, the time constraints start to play on your mind. You know, you, you hear that clock ticking in your head, and you force it, and when you force it, there's no way you're going to get into a good group. And we will see LeBron here. He was the hottest shooter entering the finals, so he earned the right to go last and he knows exactly what the target is. If he can notch a 22 or higher, he'll get the W. He can only miss one more, guys. A second miss, and he's done. And that about does it. Too late to make up ground now. Yep, out of reach. Mm, really poor. point round for him there that's far below what he's capable of doing when he's on his game yeah he really struggled with the money balls I mean I'm not laughing at him but he missed four of them that's going to always make things extra hard for you when you don't cash in the money ball and so that will do it what a tremendous performance and of all the great talent assembled here today a great achievement indeed to take home the three-point contest championship trophy it was a great event. There's always so much excitement packed into the three-point contest. Yeah, no question, Clark. Those were some real theatrics we saw out there today. And the drama, the excitement, this year's three-point contest had it all. And it was our pleasure to bring it to you. For myself, Kevin Harlan, and my partners, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, thank you, everyone, and good night. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more NBA 2K15 videos. And if you guys got the time, make sure you click the link on this video. It is a pack opening so you guys can find out what Ruby player I got. Thank you guys for watching once again. Like and subscribe and I will talk to y'all later.